Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about home theater. 70% failure is what we call it. I was reading an article the other day. I don't, it feels about right based on our experience here in the theater. 70% of the data comes through the center channel. Okay. So it comes through the center channel. Why are the center channel speakers really an afterthought in this whole process? And you've all seen the pictures. You got the screen and you got this little center channel placed horizontally and then you've got left and right vertical. You've all seen that configuration. Does that make sense? Does that make sense to have 70% of the data coming out of this in a horizontal array when all of these are vertical? It's a marketing gimmick, basically. Put a speaker under or over, whatever they do, sometimes behind. Acoustically transparent screens, no such thing. Oh, mostly marketing hype to sell speakers. That's basically what it is. It doesn't correspond to anything in physics. So you have to be careful here. If you have a 70% source and you do this, does that make sense? I don't usually tell people to use common sense when it comes to physics, but in this case, does that make sense? When I first saw that, when, when home theater stuff came out, I couldn't believe it. So, and it's another, it's even a horizontal array distribution this way. And these are completely different. So you don't get a lot of coherency. So what are we going to do? We're going to split it. We don't like it. It doesn't work right. So we're going to split it. So we're going to have a left center and a right center, and a left and a right, and all four of these speakers are going to be the same. Same amount of low frequency drivers, same middle and high frequency distribution network with the tweeters. Horns, domes, I don't care. It doesn't make any difference. We're going to have the front of the house all balanced and equal. So you want to split the center channel and do that. You can do that. It's just a signal. It's just a mono signal. You split it. Now, here's the beautiful thing about it. You keep all the speakers in the front, the same radiation pattern, and you don't mix up the horizontal with the vertical. You get what, what we call, and we've done a video on this, it's the power triangle. It's the triangle that we all work with, right? Left, right. So you have a left and a right, and you have the seating position. Let me step out here. You have the seating position, so we have that triangle here. So you get a really tight, strong focus, way better than this little nonsense under the screen. You get a nice center image focus, and you get the left and the right filling in. So that's how it works, and we do that in our studio. You get a nice, seamless blend across the front of the house. There's no gaps. There's no holes. You know, there's not one speaker stopping and another starting. There's a nice, you know, coherency and blend to the front of the house. So you get a nice, smooth presentation value with width, height, depth, all of that going for you. So if we're going to have a 70% of the energy come out of the center channel in our theater rigs, don't we want to pay a little bit more attention to how that energy comes out and into the room? in terms of pressure and reflections and distribution arrays from the speakers are very, very critical. So home theater, the 70% failure. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.